The puck drops in 24 hours. Game <laughs> one of the Stanley Cup final from the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. Thank you for joining us. I'm John Langler. And I'm Denise Valdez. And today was media day for the Vegas Golden Knights and the Washington Capitals inside T-Mobile Arena. We have team coverage. Sasha Loftus at City National Arena. John Treach and Chris Matthews just finished talking with people on the Knights. But let's begin with sports director Chris Matthews. Hi there, Chris. Hi guys, I'll tell you what, it's so unbelievable we're talking about Stanley Cup Final here in Las Vegas, of course, of all places, the Capitals and the Knights. This is a fabulous place, right? All season long, the fortress has been rocking. Hey, got to show you a couple of pictures up here, because you look up here to my right, and you'll see two banners. That started out with 31 banners. 31, then the playoff started, got down to 16, then 8, then 4, and look at that. The Golden Knights and the Washington Capitals, somebody for the very first time is going to hoist the Stanley Cup. Down on the ice, there are also some changes. You can see on the ice, instead of Stanley Cup playoffs, now it says Stanley Cup Final 2018. So just a rem it's been so fun following this team, and the fans were having a good time. And, uh, you know, media day was today. And, and all the players, uh, first it was the Golden Knights, then it was the Washington Capitals who talked with the media. And, of course, when you think of the media, you think of uh, Las Vegas. When you think of Las Vegas, you think of this fortress because, really, Las Vegas has been so special to the Golden Knights this season. It's got to be the best place to play in the league. I mean, it's so loud. I mean, the, the fans in the, in the stands are amazing. They're... They're, they're into the game. Everybody uh, is festive. Uh, I mean, it's just... It just it makes it so fun. I think not only for for us the home team, but the the away team. They they definitely enjoy it too. I think best place in the league to play. It's uh, every time every time you meet one of my friends after a game or something, and they just can't believe uh, how good the atmosphere is. And I think until you lived it once, you don't really believe it or buy in. Like. I remember having dinner with some guys in Pittsburgh the night before, and I was telling them how good it was, and they're like, "Okay, yeah, it's gonna be good, but we'll see." And then after the game, they all came and they're like, "They couldn't believe how good it was," and that's that was fun. It's been fun like that all year. Certainly has been fun like this all season long. Of course, the Vegas media know all about it. Now the international media, people from all over in Europe, people from Asia, people from down in, uh, uh, down in South America are here. International media covering the Stanley Cup final. We'll have much more all afternoon and this evening reporting live from inside the fortress. Chris Matthews, 8 Sports Now. Chris, thank you very, very much. Of course, the Golden Knights aren't the only team looking to make history at the Stanley Cup Final. Washington, the Capitals, are going for their first championship. It's their first Stanley Cup Final appearance since 1998. John Treach continues our team coverage with a look at the Washington Capitals. Good evening to you, John. Yeah, thank you very much, John. And what a city, what a story. Not long ago, thousands of people, thousands of, uh, of ideas and dreams were fulfilled as Capitals fans and Golden Knights fans got to see their players in front of the media for Media Day 2018. And what a scene it was as players were in front of the media and coaches and, yes, general manager George McPhee, a man who's been responsible for both teams getting to this point. Of course, he is the Golden Knights general manager, but for 17 years, he held that position with the Washington Capitals. And while he is a man of redemption right now, he also is a proud papa. Uh, two years ago, I was walking around <clears throat> Ann Arbor kicking stones and couldn't get a job. You know, uh, I'm, I'm certainly proud of the uh, the Washington team and the players. Um, you know, we made good selections, and and they turned out to be real good players. And I certainly take pride in that. Yeah, and McPhee, you could tell, is certainly proud of some of those players like Nicholas Backstrom and Alex Ovechkin, who he drafted as the general manager. And But he says that he's ready to beat them now and considers himself a golden misfit, just like all the players and coaches that he brought to Vegas in year one. We'll have more coming up tonight in sports. Reporting live, John Treach, 8 Sports Now.